Well, our workout today is I put it together for you, so hopefully you like it. You can modify it any way you'd like or do it. I'm going to have a uh, prescribed time that you should do it for, but if you feel like you want to do it a little bit less or do it a couple rounds longer, that's your choice. Uh, just be safe about it and get the proper amounts of rest that you need to get into it. So what we're going to be working on today is a nice little body weight routine that we're going to put together. If you do have weights at home, I, you can add them in. I'll do a dumbbell circuit after this one, the same movements, just with an added weight. Or if I, also I add in a resistance band one as well. So I'll do the same exercise, but this one will be the body weight one. So we're going to start off, it's going to be a countdown of 12, 10, 8, 6, and you're going to start off with 12 push-ups, and then you're going to do 30 second toe taps, and then you're going to go into uh, 12 squats, then you're going to go into another 30 seconds of forward and back, toe taps, and then you're going to go into 12 lunges, and then go into a minute plank or a max effort plank. So I would hold for as long as you can. If, if you feel like you can hold it longer than a minute, we can add some uh, extra sauciness into this, and I'll put it into the, I'll add some ideas in this program for the body weight ones to have it make it more challenging, but still be in where you need it to be at. So we're going to first start off with a push-up. So here you can do uh, the table push-ups, the wall push-ups, the knee push-ups, or just basic push-ups. Uh, so from here, we would do our 12. So remember, we would go ahead, get nice and set up, come here. I'm going to do a, a regular push-up. I'm going to get set, quick breath out, lock my hands in, and then continue my push-ups. I'm going to make sure my elbows are at 90 degrees, and then coming all the way to the floor. We don't want to go halfway down. I'm just the body weight ones. Two, and I think about also spreading the floor with my hands so I can keep constant tension and create that torque that we want. So spreading the floor, just like if I'm trying to push the floor away from me, but my hands are staying nice and centered in that position. So I go into my push-ups, and then I go into toe taps, so I'm going to show you how to do these. So let's say I just got going with my 12. We're going to do 30 seconds, so 30 seconds on the clock. You should have a basic stopwatch or even like your timer on your stove. You can go off with it too. So I'm just going to go forward and back. We're just going to skip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So every one tap together is one rep. So we're just going to do as many as we can for that 30 seconds. And you can use any surface that you want to use for tapping. I'm just using a, a, a foam yoga block. You can use a pillow. You can use a box that you have at the house. Really anything. Just make sure you're not... If you're using a ball or something, just be careful. Make sure it's not underneath your feet because you don't want to fall. Um, so after we get our 30 seconds of toe taps, we go right into our squats. Now we can do a couple different variations for this one. We're body weighted. We can also use a chair if you don't feel comfortable getting into the depth of a squat. We always want to start off with a feet shoulder width apart. So feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to have my feet straight on, just like so. And I'm going to use a chair for the example. I'm going to stay nice and tall. I'm going to make sure I keep my core nice and tight, deep into the nose. Quick breath out to brace. So I'm hit, bringing everything up and in. I'm turning on my psoas, which is from the hip flexors all the way up. So I'm squeeze, squeeze, squeezing everything up and in. I'm going to go ahead and use my hands, clasp in the center. I don't want to have them out too far out in front because it might pull me forward. I just want to have it relaxed in the center. You can also push your palms together to keep tension through your upper body as well. So I'm taking a deep breath in, quick breath out. And then I'm coming down, spreading the floor with my feet. Think about there's two towels underneath my feet. I'm spreading it and I'm pushing my feet into the floor, sitting, pausing for one, two seconds, and then coming up and squeezing at the top of the squat. So that was the side view. Here's the forward view. So feet, hip width apart, hands in the center. I'm not, I'm gonna actually push, just like so. Deep breath in. I'm pushing my hips back, driving my knees out, spreading the floor with my feet, keeping my feet nice and solid on the ground. And then coming back up and squeezing my glutes at the top. I'm going to be doing 12 of those. And then I'm getting into my next part of my toe taps, but they're going to be side to side. So side to side. So we're going here and here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get 30 seconds of those in. And then my last exercise is the lunges. So I'm going to use a chair to help me support. If I have a hard time stabilizing, you can also do it without a chair. So I'm going to hold on to it right here. I'm going to take good setup. 
I want to make sure that I'm staying nice and tall. And when I come down, I want to make sure my knee is 90 degrees from my ankle. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to line it up. And if you're not comfortable with full lunges yet, you can just use the chair as support and come down to half lunge and split squat. So here, that's one. That's two. Here, that's three. See how my knee is lined up with my hip underneath? Just like so, I'm staying nice and tall. I'm using this for support and also driving my back foot in the ground and squeezing my glute, keeping it always active. We don't ever want to have the glute not active in a lunge. And we also want to keep our core as nice and tight as possible. I'm also driving my feet actively into the ground in this position in through the floor to keep my quads and my hip flexors on. So this is five, six, seven, and then I would switch sides and get another set of 12. If you want to do a non-body weight or you want to do a body weight one without the chair, same thing. But set up, I'm going to have my feet hip width apart, get my feet set up, hip width apart, and then I'm going to go ahead and just do a reverse lunge because we always want to start off with reverse lunges because it'll get our ankles lined up with our knee a lot better and it's just a lot better for the mechanics of our hips. And here I'm going to squeeze my hands in the middle, lower down, lower down nice and easy, one, squeeze, and push up, one, bring my foot back in, get a good set up, two, squeeze, come up, two, and just like so. And if you are a little bit more experienced with the lunges, just go right into them. You can alternate sides or stay on one side. That is up to you. One, step in, two, and I always clasp my hands to help brace. Three, four, you see how my knee is lined up with my ankle? We don't want our knee too far forward. We don't want to be too far back. And we always want to be just like square box. So think of making a square box with your legs. Just like this. Here we are. <laughs> there. And then after we get done with our 12 lunges, we get into a max plank. So you can do a knee plank if you're not comfortable with doing a tall plank. We can do a knee plank. Just like so. Hold, 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 hold. You can come up, bring your feet up. Do an elbow plank. Make sure your elbows are always underneath your shoulders. We always want to stay nice and stable and centered. I also, when on my elbows, I grasp my hands and squeeze will help me brace. And I also think about driving my elbows in towards the center of my abdominal wall. So I'm actually driving my elbows in towards the center. I'm gonna hold that for really as long as I can. And then I'm gonna take about 45 to 60 seconds. And then I get my rest in and move on to the next uh, rep scheme, which would be 10 reps. So it would be 12, 10, 8, 6. And with a 45 to 60 second rest. So you should be able to do, you can do three to four rounds if you get to six and you feel like you need a little bit more. You can do a couple more rounds if you like. If you feel like two rounds are good, just stick with the two rounds. Maybe the next day or a, a day or two, try it again because you might be sore if you haven't done these movements a lot. Just be mindful of what you're doing. If you need ideas of different, different modifications or anything, uh, just hit me up and I will message you and I will get you a private video as well for just for you to find different variations of what to do for these movements, okay? All right, let's get into a half on.